Hello students, good morning everyone. Today in this session we are going to learn about keyboard and mouse. Okay, let us learn about the keys of keyboard and let us also learn about the mouse. So, we have seen that the keyboard and mouse are the input devices. So, whenever, when a mouse is connected to a computer, when a mouse is connected to a computer, a pointer appears children that is called as mouse pointer. A small arrow like this appears on the monitor that is on the screen of your computer. So, you have when you want to use that, when you move the mouse, wherever you move the mouse, this pointer also moves there. Okay, this is called as mouse pointer. When a mouse is connected to a computer, a mouse pointer that is the small arrow appears there which is called as mouse pointer. When you move the mouse, this mouse pointer also moves wherever the computer is moving. Then, so first to operate the computer, you need to learn how to hold the mouse. So whenever you want to use the mouse, what is the first thing you want to learn here? You need to hold the mouse properly with your hand, isn't it? So let us see how to hold. Okay, you have to use your index finger. A mouse contains two buttons children, left button and right button. Okay, then a a left button will be there and right button will be there children then this is the index finger the index finger is at the left side of the button left button okay this index finger should be placed on the left button then this middle finger should be on the right button the thumb should be at the left side of the mouse and this ring finger and this last finger should be on the right side of the mouse so children you can Open your textbook and look at this picture children. Turn to page number 24 of your textbook children. So let us see the position how we should place the fingers. The index finger should be placed on the left mouse button. This is the index finger children which is which should be on the left side of the mouse button. Which is, should be on the left button on the mouse then the middle finger be should be on the right finger. So this is middle finger this is index finger index finger should be placed on the left button of the mouse middle finger should be placed on the right button of the mouse thumb should be placed on the left side of the mouse and this ring fing ring finger and this the ring and this little finger should be on the right side of the mouse children and your arm your arm will be on the top of the mouse this is your arm children it will be on the top of the mouse then let us know about the click how we have to use this okay so i have told you how to hold a mouse so first hold your mouse as shown in the figure press the left mouse button using the index finger and as i told you on the left button you have placed your index finger press it or click it slightly then release it okay just Press the left button with the index finger. This is your index finger children. To give a click, what you have to do? Press with this index finger and release it quickly. Okay. Then, what about double click? How to do double click? See, you have to hold in the same way. Then you have to click. Click with this index finger. Release it quickly. Then again you have to click it with this index finger. Then release it quickly this is the same process but you have to do two times when you do that two times when you click two times that it's that is called as double click you have to click with this finger children this is the index finger click it then release quickly click it release quickly that is double click okay then what is drag and drop okay drag and drop is when you are selecting something and you are you are to you have to keep it in you are moving that to some other place. Okay, let us suppose we can move anything using this drag and drop. For example, press and hold the left mouse on the object without releasing it. Move the mouse on the mouse pad. Release it in the place where you want to drop the object. Let us suppose you have to long press on that. Okay, press it with your index finger. 
then you have to move your mouse then you have to drag the object where you want to place it okay you have to give a click but do not release that don't release click or click with the index finger you have to hold hold that then move the mouse to the place where you want to drop that object so this is called as drag and drop children what you have to do you have to hold this with your index finger select that object then you have to drag the mouse drag the mouse to the place where you want to carry that then you can drop it the drop the object there then what is right click right click is nothing but you have to use the right button how will you use that press the right mouse button with the middle finger as i told you to keep this middle finger on the right side of the mouse button so click it with this middle finger then release it okay this is the usage of right click that is when you want to give the right click you have to click on right right button of the mouse so you have to click with this middle finger on the right side then release it quickly this gives us the right click then coming to the keyboard it has number of small keys upon them the keys contain alphabets numbers you can see children two sets of numbers will be there children one set of numbers are there above the alphabets here then one set of numbers are this side then alphabet keys are there it has lots of buttons the buttons which are there on the keyboard they are called as keys we can type using this keyboard we can type numbers as well as letters so alphabet keys all the letters of the english alphabets are provided as keys on the board number keys two sets of keys are there 0 to 9 then there are some special keys apart from this alphabets and numbers there are there are some special keys for example enter space bar backspace shift key and arrow keys so let us learn what what is the use of these special keys enter this key is used to move to the next line okay let us suppose you have written something you have started to write something you have completed till here when you want to move to the next line when you want to begin next line you have to just press enter key then you can begin the new line okay then we have got space bar while writing in the notebook you will give finger space children so similarly in this keyboard you have got a space bar this is giving space between the words okay this creates space between the words then we have backspace backspace help us to erase the letter which is on the left of the cursor okay when you want to erase something we use eraser while writing with pencil isn't it so similarly here if we use backspace key you can get back suppose i have written this click spelling children i want to get back i want to erase this then then if you click on the backspace you can simply erase this in this way then shift key shift key is used to convert the letters into capital letters if you want to use capital letter you can simply click on this shift key you can use this shift key to turn into capital letters then we have arrow keys four arrow keys are there this helps to move the cursor upwards downwards right and left side okay these are some special keys children so this was about the keyboard and mouse so today we have learned about right click double click drag and drop and what are the keys which are there on the keyboard so students thank you let us meet in the next video